Welcome to the SolidWorks tutorial on assemblies and this racetrack. Um, so, in the previous video I showed you how to uh, create a motion study using gravity. Um, now, say you want to send some of these files to a friend so they can modify their car and then have a race together. Um, there's a few things you might want to know about uh, modifying the car and its particular constraints and then sending it to your friends so that everything's not broken when they get to it, uh, when they open it up. Um, a very helpful tool that SolidWorks has is this pack and go. Um, that way, with all your complicated parts and everything that I have here, um, they could be in all sorts of different places and files and be all over your computer. Um, fortunately for me, I put them all in the same place. But that might not always be the case, especially for really large assemblies. Um, you have two options down here. You can, well, up here you can include or uninclude anything that you don't want. Say you don't want them to have the pin, um, then you can uncheck the pin. Now you can save, send it to a folder or a zip folder, which is kind of nice. Um, browse the location, give it a name, and then you just save it. Uh, it'll also work for drawings and other things you have in. And then you just hit save. And it'll take all your files, pack them together in one folder, and then it'll s give it to you in a nice location. And it'll rename all the links. As you can see, I hear my zip folder. I can now send that to anyone I'd like who would like to s see this uh, same assembly. Now, for the modifying of the cars, um, I'll take the block, for instance. We'll uh, open the p part. Car slot one. Now, you can see here, this is just the part. Now, I know where the mates are, and we can't touch any of the surfaces or get rid of the surfaces that the mates are on. So we have a mate on these inside surfaces, I don't remember which side, so we better not touch either one. And then the cylinder here, we can move the cylinder and we can move the faces, but we can't change them too much. And then we have mates on this surface or this surface. Um, so we can do things like fillets and make it pretty big. Um, that won't hurt it. We can uh, put a giant chamfer on the end here and here, make it like one inch, uh, maybe too big there, still too big. Um, so we can modify them, as long as we leave a little bit of surface that's original, the mates will work still. Um, we can put a holes in it. we so wanted. So you can do quite a bit of customization to the car as long as we don't uh, mess with the surfaces that the constraints are on. Um, to test it, you can just save it and then I push the over arrow and go back to your assembly. It says, do you want to rebuild it? Of course. And there we have our car is now updated in the exact same position. Um, that's why I have all the cars replicated in my file right here. So you can see um, I have assembly one, car three, four. Uh, this is the one we just modified from this one. So what happens is this car was modified, which updates that assembly, which ups updates the overall assembly, which is right here. Um, so you can send just the car to people and then uh, rename them, which is really helpful too. So if you give them car slot 1, you can rename this to car slot uh, 2, and it will change this car to this one. It's really handy um, to do it this way, because it's easily modifiable and easily to have fun and then do the analysis with it. So this is the end of this tutorial.